Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the Delta Wing. This car really exists and we're gonna tell you about it right here, right now. Greetings petrolheads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to its a mod mod world. The strange vehicle that you're seeing here is the Delta Wing, which really existed. Designed by the British engineer Ben Bowlby for IndyCar, IndyCar was not interested in this design, but Le Mans was interested and in fact it ran in the 2012 24 hours of Le Mans. Now the story is much much longer but we're talking here about the mod so let's take a look at the mod. As you can see this is a very minimalistic racing car. It had its first race at Le Mans, but as Assetto Corsa does not have Le Mans, I've taken the next best thing, and that is Spa Francorchamps. So we're gonna test this very special vehicle at Spa. Because the design was made so that it would have a very, very, very small aerodynamic footprint, you can see that this is a really small and really low car. Lights are at the back of the car, and I have a head. Ugh. Let's check the motor. There is no motor. Oh, bother. While it has Nissan plastered all over it, the design is not from Nissan, only the motor in some cases and in some others parts of the motor came from Nissan. Notice the positioning of the front tires, which are very near to each other. These will have consequences when driving. If this wheel would be like that in real life, there wouldn't be much body left after a very short while. So a slight error in the mod indeed. The design is very interesting. Even if the mod looks plasticky and as it's standard in uh, Japanese Super GT and meanwhile also in DTM and of course in other series I have a rear view camera and two very small rear view mirrors. As you can see from my driver's perspective this car is very low and kind of small it has a small visual footprint. This car is incredibly stable it's very difficult but I'm not saying impossible to put it into oversteer. What it does is it understeers like crazy. I suppose that's because of the two front wheels that are so near to each other and uh, this special form that it has like an arrow and therefore it's more difficult to move the front into a curve. That stability means also that I can brake on most curves at least much later than I would with other vehicles and that gives me an edge. With this car you'll have better traction in the corners but remember that the understeer is gonna eat you up if you don't take care of it. I did not check it, maybe if you fiddle long enough with the setup you have less understeer, but I suppose that the geometry of this car brings a lot of understeer. Fitting the stability of the chassis, the motor is also very stable, I could mistreat it in many ways and it did not protest. Now if this is something specially in the mod or if this is something that the Delta Wing also had, I don't know. It is known that the Delta Wing needed much less fuel per 100 kilometers than other racing cars, so maybe the motor of the Delta Wing was also something special. Force feedback is quite okay, but nothing to write home about. You feel the curbs, you feel a little bit of the car, but it's not the best force feedback I've ever had, but on the other hand, it's not the worst. 
The motor reacts differently to my inputs to what I was expecting. Not that it's doing something crazy, but it's a very tame motor in a very stable car and a car with different geometry and therefore with motor and geometry being different, a different reaction to the other vehicles that I've been driving. Therefore, I had to relearn how to drive in Spa with this car and from that it was a very enjoyable experience. I had an issue with the sound, I didn't hear the tires screeching and therefore I was not able to brake at the right moment and with the right pressure. I was able to solve that issue and I could kick myself that I did not think of the solution sooner but that's the way it is. For most of my practice I was not able to brake correctly which ended in me flat spotting the tires and while the car was very tame at some point the vibrations became so strong that I had to go back into pits. I'm not sure if it had to do with me braking too strongly or not but the tire degradation was very strong after about 40 minutes of driving around in spa i was on deep yellow with the tires which normally doesn't happen with other vehicles or maybe it had to do with my difficulty getting the front wheels into the right temperature but i don't think that that has much to do with tire deck does it one thing that only dawned on me after I was almost finishing this video was that despite me hearing the motor, the issue with the sounds was just that this needed the sound fix, which is nothing else than the old sound files from Assetto Corsa, and then I would be able to hear everything. And I tested it, and what you will see in the chase camera is after I put the fix in place. Therefore, while I was not able to hear things like the tire screeching while I was testing, this will not be the case for you if you're using the sound fix. Taking a rouge with this delta wing is more difficult than it seems. This car has seen some crashes in real life. In Le Mans it crashed against the car that was parked in the middle of the track and in other venues it has been overrun by other cars. The pilots of the other cars saying that they just did not see it. It's just too low, too small to be seen by other normal cars. The history of this car, how it came to be made and how it stopped being made is a very typical story about human nature and about motorsport. I thought about giving you some pointers but it's a very very long story and I'm thinking about doing a special about the story because it's very interesting. Let me know if you are interested in the comments. Racing against the AI makes no sense, I'm much faster than the AI on other delta wings but much slower than the AI on LMP cars. This car with a human pilot is better than the AI, even a human pilot as mediocre as me. So racing against the AI is out of the question but racing against other people, especially those who have seen every kind of car may be very interesting. 
Well, wasn't this an interesting experience? I had to relearn to drive as the behavior of the Delta Wing is completely different to anything else that I've been driving in the last months, years. But one thing is the experience, the other is how is the mod? You've seen it yourself, the immersion is quite good, you feel like you're inside of this vehicle. There are a couple of errors in the look, like the rear tire, and it looks a little bit plasticky. So for the look, I give it 4 eyes out of 5. With regards to the sound, and remember to apply the sound fix if you get this mod, the sound is very rich, it has different sounds here and there, so I would say for the sound I give it 5 ears out of 5. Now the driving feeling, the force feedback is not very good, as I said, also not very bad, but it's okay, it's so-so. Driving this vehicle is a special experience, I would have wished to notice that also stronger in the force feedback, so for the driving feeling I give it 3 wheels out of 5. This is a very interesting mod of a very interesting car and you should go and check it because it handles different. Not only are you gonna be driving something special, you are going to have a different driving feeling than you've had until now. All in all, I can recommend this mod even if the driving feeling is not that good and the mod is quite old because it's something different. It's something new and it might be refreshing to see all your friends suffering as much as you do under having to learn the tracks completely anew. So yeah, go and get this mod or get another mod. We have tons of videos to share the joy of sim racing. Go and check the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, applaud by giving it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to become part of the ever-growing family of Rom Rom and be informed about new videos. And until the next time, save fuel, collect pickup, and we'll see each other at the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.